So, I realize it's been a little while since the last episode, but trust me, I have a valid excuse. You see, Nolan got roasted a lot in the last one for having quote-unquote hella boogers in his throat, <laughs> whatever that means. So we nipped this issue at the bud and went straight to Walmart to buy the hella booger and throat spray remover. And uh, now that he has that, we're good to go and we can continue on with our journey of surviving on an island, alone, and depressed. Welcome back to Minecraft Survival Island, episode number 5, the series in which Nolan and I go on an island to survive in hardcore. Meaning, if we die, well, we die. And that's not fun. And as always, if you enjoy this episode, feel free to drop a like and subscribe to the channel, and maybe, just maybe, become part of the Epic Gamer Club. That is, if you're cool enough. But let's get into the video. So in the last episode, we were extremely productive, and I mean extremely, like we were peak efficiency. You know, we did everything we needed to do and didn't laugh at jokes that were for, like, middle schoolers, I promise you. We, we were productive, bro. Big old shack. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, point is, we spent a lot of time uh, updating our house, and even at the end of it, it still looked terrible, so it was kind of a waste, but at least we had fun. So our house did need a bit more updating, and that was something we were going to do a little bit later in this episode, but we had to start out doing what I promised at the end of the last episode. You see, we're XP level 30, and we can't enchant anything because we don't have sugarcane. Our lovely little island doesn't have any sugarcane on it, so we had to adventure to find some more. Were we a billion blocks from other islands, or were we secretly on a little tiny one, surrounded by a bunch of big land that we thought didn't exist? Hmm, I wonder which direction this is gonna go. But before we adventured, we had to set some ground rules. We only allowed ourselves to get one piece of sugarcane and a singular sapling to a singular tree. And of course, any shipwrecks or like loot or temples that we see from the ocean. So we crafted a boat and went out on our way in the sketchiest foggy rainstorm we had ever seen in our life. What safer time to explore than when it looks like the entire setting of Silent Hill? So we hopped in our boat and went one direction until we found another island. And turns out, this was actually a pretty big island. In fact, I think it was mainland, but we weren't going to explore because that would be against the rules. So once we got over there, we realized that it was kind of sketchy, it was kind of dark, and it was kind of scary. And considering if we die, everything's over, we were a little cautious and decided to go back and wait until morning. But what we saw did look pretty promising, and like I said, we were going to return as soon as possible. So we went to our ugly ass mansion, went to sleep, and awoke to see that we had new company on our island. We had a wandering trader with the worst trades we had ever seen in our life. But it's okay, we can save him in the hopes that eventually we can get some better trades and maybe get something special. Also, how the hell did he get to our island? I don't see any boats, and there's no way he swam across an ocean with a bunch of llamas. But that's a topic for another time. It's time to go back on our adventure, baby. Oh my god. Yeah, we got weak PCs. We need to take them to the gym. I know. Unplug them into- Oh no, these, these people got sweet tea, right? And they said this sweet tea is kind of weak, and I was like, then you should take it to the gym. <laughs> you actually said that? <laughs> Absolutely. I would like literally tip you zero dollars if you said that to me. I would I would make you pay me. Oh wait, actually, you know, over here look kind of promising. Oh shipwreck! Oh wait, oh, wait we map. can't. Oh sugar cane. We can't what? We can't loot the shipwreck. Why can't we? Actually, you know, it's a shipwreck. We're on an island, so we're we're technically still on an island. We can do it. We only thing we're allowed to loot is shipwrecks. Oh, we're just making these rules up as we go. Yeah, we definitely are. Where's the loot? Where's the booty? This is such a romantic journey. Is it, is it romantic? I'll, I'll be on treasure hunting ox. <laughs> I can barely hear it. Off. <laughs> You're the worst pirate I've ever seen. Oh my god, Nolan, I see a shipwreck. <laughs> That's the one we just looted. Come on, find the treasure already. Are those cactuses? Oh, we could grab one cactus Cacti? too. I just found the rule book and we're allowed to grab one cactus as well. Oh my god, nice rule book. Rule book? Ru Roblox? That's not cactus, that's sugarcane. Alright, we need to find this, Nolan. It's getting dark. 
All right. It's, it's directly below us, Captain. Cool. It's right here. I found it. Sam, already? Yeah. You hacker. Wait, don't take it out yet. Let me see. Damn, dude. I found all this loot myself. <laughs> dude, that's so sick. Dude, thank God my x-ray was working. We never found that. Yeah, I know, bro. All right, let's go back. Go to the right, please. Why? Because that's where the house is. It's not. No, not directly right. What you are you doing? You said to the right. What am I supposed to do? Go to the right. Oh, why are you going to the right? So we eventually made it back, and honestly, it was a pretty good adventure. We got some TNT, we got some emeralds, some fish, a heart of the sea. If somebody knows what those do, please tell me in the comments. And of course, our sugar cane and our singular spruce sapling. That's what I would call a great success. Now, we just have to trade with this guy in the hopes that we could get some bet. Really, Nolan? Really, Nolan, you're gonna kill our only company that we've had on the island for like 20 hours of gameplay? You know, I'm gonna keep that in mind when you find somebody that you wanna socialize with. Well, so much for the trades. I guess we can now make a beautiful emerald block and stare at it and remember how we could have had some trades. How beautiful, I'm gonna tear up. So we planted everything that we got from our journey and I started expanding the grass area in the hopes that more animals would spawn. We really needed cows to make leather where we could make books to make our bookshelves and then our enchanting table, etc, etc. So I figured why not expand the island to where we could get to that point. I also started messing around with brewing because our nether wart farm from before was finished and, you know, we wanted to go to the nether to try to get some netherite and explore and find something cool. And of course, we needed potions to do that. And then Nolan decides to go on a boat like 10,000 blocks away and then lose his boat. Seriously, man, I was trying to be productive and now I have to go save you from drowning in the middle of the ocean. Remember what happened to that wandering trader? Yeah, you know what, maybe I should just leave you out there, bro. But I'm a good friend, so I did it anyways. And then, inevitably, we lost the house for about 20 minutes, but we eventually made it back to see our ugly mansion of death awaiting us. But at this point, our potions had finished brewing, so we decided to go over to the nether to try to find at least a little bit of netherite or something interesting. And honestly, it was another pretty fun little adventure. Alright. Yeah, until the ones with the enchanted swords come up and just murk you. Let's go, let's actually explore a little bit. So last time we went that way, let's go the other way. I think I found one of those fortress things though. Uh, I don't know what they're called, but it looks- Oh yeah, yeah, like the pigman fortress? Yeah, isn't that one over there? It is, there's something over there. I'm not blocking your chest, I promise. I'm just building a new house. Make sure there's no way for them to get in here. Oh, no, go go back, go back, uh-uh, back up. Back it on up. Oh, they're looking at each other. They're about to murder my ass. Dude, get out of There's here. There's so many. Don't. Yeah, don't, don't, don't even, don't even don't look at the it. chest. <laughs> oh, wow, uh, he's running. <laughs> he's a runner. I don't trust him, bro. He's sus. I feel like he's just gonna, like, turn on us. I know, I'm too scared. What's he doing? All right, where to next? Yeah, go, go look in your chest, I promise. Your stuff's still there, dude. Let's go down. This is kind of sick. Dude, it's kind of freaking terrifying though, like high key. Yeah, bro, if you hit one of these guys, it might be over for us. I will disconnect if I hit one of them. <laughs> and just never join back where I don't die. All right, that's a way out. Uh, where's that? All right, so what we could do, let's let's see, we could try to uh, block it off, and if we need to bail, we can run. Looks like this way is pretty decent. They're chill. Oh, no, they're not. Nolan, don't come out, whatever you do. <laughs> you sure? I don't know, dude. He looked kind of angry. I like how there's so much gold. Yeah, I know, dude. He's just telling you to fucking mine it. Oh, I don't see any pig ones, dudes. Uh-oh. Damn it. <laughs> that was close. Dude, spectral arrows do hella damage. All right, so I brought some TNT that I found. I'll show you the, the pro right here. Beds. Yeah, I know. Beds are riskier though, because they blow up instantly. So uh, the strategy, here's, here's a pro strat. Okay, there's, there's lava on this side, so don't mind that. Okay. 
So you gotta go. Oh wait, we have TNT. There's not as much of a strategy here. All right, so let's blow one of these babies up. Here, do you want to do the honors? Big TNT guy. She's gonna blow! Boom. Well, come on, give me some. Eventually, we made it back safe and sound, and we had no netherite, but at least we had a good grand old freaking time to tell about to our children. At this point, I decided that we needed a more efficient way to walk down the stairs because there's no way I'm going to expend that much physical labor to get down to the mines every single time. So I crafted some rails and stuff and ended up making a powered rail to get to and from the bottom. Honestly, this was the best thing we had ever done in this entire series, and I think we could end it now. Thanks for watching, and peace. Just kidding, our house haunts me in my sleep, and we definitely need to do some renovations. So I went into renovation mode and decided to completely overhaul our house. Now this was going to take forever, and honestly should have just torn it down and restarted, but I figured why not just give it a shot. I started by gathering some materials and decided to move all of the walls inward just one and change the material from whatever the hell this was to cobblestone. Doing this added some depth, and honestly I thought it looked pretty nice in theory, let's just hope that whenever I actually build it, it looked good. I also decorated it up with some stairs and some slabs just to add some texture, and I thought it was looking pretty nice. So I continued to hit all of the walls one by one, saving the back wall for the end, and then of course I had to go to the top floor and then the roof and all of that. But overall it had been about an hour, and I had gotten quite a bit of work done, and I really liked the way this house was going. All right, I want you to swim the, here. Come here. No, I'm building. Can I give you a tour? I'm no, building. come here. I'm building. Come here. No. Come here, bro. Come freaking here. Come here. This island. I'm out. <laughs> Oops, that's the wrong way. <laughs> I'm moving to a new one. All right, come here. Where? <laughs> right here. Come to me, and we're going to swim through my magical thing. This is what you've been doing the whole time! <laughs> Can you put a, some glowstone and some magma blocks under a bridge? <laughs> Look, and then we have this. Wow, dude, this is so cool! <laughs> this is so cool, dude! Screw you, I would have never thought of doing that. I'm out here rebuilding our whole house, and you're just like, Hey, I put some glowstone under the water. God damn. I, I did though. <laughs> I, have, dude, I have to wrap the whole bills alone. <laughs> this is like a guy wrapping his bills. I got my brother wrapping the bills. <laughs> yeah, let's go to sleep. We're, we're missing the entire back of our house, but let's just go to sleep. <laughs> missing what? We're missing the entire back of our house. Yeah, as you can see, this was a uh, this was a solo project. My uh, my teammate here wasn't uh, wasn't being very helpful. But at this point, I got to the miserable section that was the back wall, and it was a pain in the butt because first of all, I had to move all of those chests that I just placed again, which absolutely sucked. And then I had to find a way to make this look nice without making it look too much like the front, while also keeping it nice looking. And it absolutely sucked. And at this point, we had a few close calls, like uh, Nolan almost burning our house down a couple of times, and uh, us almost dying a couple of times. But eventually, I just settled on oak wood planks with these uh, beautiful pillars that didn't look terrible, and this beautiful balcony that also didn't look terrible. Alright, it was a step in the right direction, but again, it wasn't perfect. At this point, Nolan decided to actually be helpful, and he started working on the roof, which honestly is fine because I absolutely hated doing roofs, and, you know, maybe he could throw something nice on there to, to make it look good. At some point throughout the process, a couple of sheep spawned, so we killed all of our pigs and decided to harvest the sheep instead, where we can make beds to farm netherite in the next episode. And after a bunch of work, our house looked pretty decent, I guess. I mean, it kind of looks like a barn, but... I've definitely seen worse, right? Now, let's just burn it all down and start entirely fresh in the next episode. Anyways, guys, that is going to be it for today's episode, so I hope you all enjoyed. Little side note, we're not actually going to burn down our house and start fresh, uh, but we still don't really know how we feel about it, so let me know in the comments if you think it's a nice build or not. 
Like I said, once we get our sheep farm started in the next episode, we're gonna go into the nether and try to bed mine for some netherite. And honestly, we'll probably die in the process, but at least we tried. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to drop a like and subscribe to the channel, and like I said before, maybe even consider becoming a channel member. Become part of the Epic Gamer Club. If you join, you can get access to all of my videos 24 hours early, you can get an exclusive badge next to your name in live streams and potentially videos, I'm not too sure how it works with videos, and a bunch of other really cool perks that help to support the channel. I decided to release these because I removed all mid-roll ads from my videos. I just didn't like mid-roll ads, they were annoying and they interrupted everything, so I decided to go this route instead of the Patreon idea. So once again, if you're interested in supporting the channel, just click that wonderful little join button, and I look forward to seeing you there. I will see you guys next time, and peace.